Hi everyone, I'm back again with another skincare video. I know a long time no see again, um, but I'm trying to figure something out so that I can get more time to make my skincare videos here. Yeah, let's just see if it works out or not. I don't know, we'll see. Um, by the way, I'll be reviewing this for you guys, the Aroma Magic Mineral Glow Scrub. But I'm thinking of doing a series on Aroma Magic products. Like, um, I've been wanting to do this for a long while. And now I'm thinking that, okay, finally, let me just do it. I want to share those with you guys. So I'll be doing one video per product. And I'll give you some uh, nice detailed review about each of the product the pros and the cons everything and uh, so i think today will be the first video in that regard so before wasting much time let's just begin so this aroma magic mineral glow scrub okay these days by the way what's the relevance of a scrub let's just clear that out so you know depending on where you are in your skincare game what i mean by that is that not everyone would have heard about AHAs and BHAs, I'm guessing, even today. Not everyone would have heard about AHAs, BHAs, skincare peeling, vitamin A, vitamin A derivatives and their uses for skincare. But trust me, everyone has heard about the scrub. So in that scenario, the scrub comes into play. So you could be an audience who has never tried uh, a salicylic acid peel or a glycolic acid or a kojic acid peel or you're not someone who's using uh, an AHA, BHA peel you, or, or you're not someone who's using acids per se in their daily routine nor are you using any vitamin A derivatives like retinol or retinoid or different gel so yeah i in that case you might be looking up to a scrub to have that you know shiny polished look on your skin i get it so if you if you are lucky i would call you like the lucky ones because um you know who seeks help it's someone who has troubled skin someone who naturally has gorgeous skin does not um you know need to find out or uh, what to do or uh, how to take care of their skin because no matter what they do their skin just glows so you're the lucky ones uh, but if you're not one of those lucky ones and you are one of those people who have skin issues and you think that a scrub will solve them uh, let me just give a disclaimer here that no the scrub will not um first of all uh I would like to put a caution out never use any form of physical scrub be it a clarisonic or a face cleaning brush or a scrub like this or a walnut scrub uh, any physical scrub do not use it on compromised skin or if you have active acne you know you know what compromised skin means where your skin is not okay so if you have atopic skin conditions um you know anything which is not natural uh you know which is not normal if you have those inflammatory conditions on your skin i would say just be very cautious be very gentle and uh, think many times for using a physical scrub so yeah with that said um this scrub is is it's basically so there's there's a lot of information uh in you, <laughs> you know there's a difference between information and marketing so there's a lot of marketing here but to cut it short and to put things into a bit more perspective for you guys this is basically a skin conditioning product via and i mean the conditioning thing happens via the hydration as well as the removal of flakiness now i've been using this scrub uh since i think seven years now uh obviously on and off because if you are someone who's using uh skincare peels or acids or um vitamin a on your skin you probably 
don't need a physical scrub or your skin won't be able to tolerate it so most of the time it's either of the two things which is gonna take place so it's not like you'll be able to regularly use a physical scrub to be very honest if you are like super on on your uh, skincare game on a daily routine basis but yes and there are days when we can't take care of ourselves like other days um skincare included so what if like there's a lapse in skincare so in those situations i found this product to actually act as a bridge like it really helps so suppose something happened in my life and i'm i i i wasn't able to uh you know care for my skin and uh, you know i i wasn't able to maybe even wash my face for like two, three, four days, yeah, that happens. I mean, it's normal. Uh, if that happens with you, um, don't think you're alone. Actually, it happens with me. I wish it doesn't happen with me anymore. I always wish that, but I just want to let you know that these things happen, and um, yeah. So I just want to say that if that happens, maybe you have some uh, dry flakes that are formed on your skin. uh you know your skin is looking dull maybe so in that case this scrub is great to um give you a like a push into into the right direction uh to make your skin not look as battered basically someone who's thinking ke um i need to use this scrub like you like the effect of this scrub and you're like i need to use this like twice or thrice a week then i will just say that uh a scrub isn't what you need you probably need to use uh, aha is a uh, bha or vitamin a derivatives um those are chemical peeling agents and uh, I think you should really look into that. Yeah, so basically I've cut the story here over here short for you guys and I've told you uh, the marketing gimmick or claim whatever that this scrub makes is that it reduces fine lines effectively. So I think the reason that they make this claim is because this scrub is actually very hydrating and it's a, a very nice skin conditioner so when uh, your skin gets hydrated and the flakiness uh, gets removed because of the scrubbing particles present in this um your skin looks much better and a uh, little plumper because of the hydration so i think that is the reason that they they kind of thought okay let's market it as a fine line reducing scrub but trust me i didn't find anything like that to be true um other than that it's a great product and um on that note i i use it as a face mask sometimes so if you've ever used other face masks from aroma magic uh i can just say that this scrub has an equally good effect on your skin when you put it on like a face mask or a or a face pack and um, you know like you've kept it for 10 15 or um 30 minutes then it has this great effect i remember i had this episode in my life where um my uh, skin barrier was really compromised because i had acne and in my attempt to get rid of those acne i had used some um um i think uh, salicylic acid peel maybe for the first time and something like that back then and my skin was really sensitized and it was like dehydrated you know dry skin is different from dehydrated skin so i had proper dehydrated skin and um 
yeah it was it was tough to deal with and in those days i discovered the beauty of this scrub like how um this uh, this scrub when i used it as a face pack means like i left it on every day actually uh for about a week or 10 days i did this i left it on my skin for uh around 30 35 minutes sometimes an hour if i got the chance and i didn't do the scrubbing action i just applied it a, like a thick layer on my face as a face pack and it really helped in boosting the hydration content on my skin and to slowly bring my skin back, back on track actually so from that experience i am telling you that this scrub is actually very hydrating i still mostly feel like to use this scrub as a face pack um not as much as a you know quick face scrub because i don't feel the need for a scrub uh, as such uh but yeah and and yes obviously in all these years i think since i've been using this scrub i've never felt the need to even try out any other new scrub because this is just like the one stop go to solution for my skin when it actually needs scrubbing yet at the same time if you think you're going to use this scrub and get rid of your tan that's not going to happen in fact i don't even know of any physical scrub which can rid you of your skin tan if you know of any such product that exists out there mention in the comments so that even i can have a look try and enlighten myself other than that blackheads people generally think that physical scrubs help them with blackheads uh to be honest it really depends on the size of your blackhead mm. but even if you have a big blackhead which is uh, i think easier to extract um i still feel like you are going to need some sort of supportive uh chemical exfoliant involved in order to uh, soften the skin around that blackhead so that it's easier to you know remove um if you're just going to like depend on this scrub for removing blackheads then uh, no and in fact it's not even touted as a product which would help in treating blackheads to be very honest i think it doesn't um, mention blackhead removal anywhere on it and um, so yeah i mean yes it can help if you have um, big blackheads then when used in conjunction with other uh exfoliating processes and products it might help but no just don't depend on this one um yeah uh next thing is that it says i am not made of harmful chemicals paraben alcohol artificial fragrance and color well one doesn't really know because aroma magic never reveals its complete ingredients list in case you haven't realized that so we don't know we can't say but from my experience what i can tell you is that it's a very safe product um yeah it, it's uh, it's hydrating it's non irritating not irritating at all in fact and um yeah it's non comedogenic so if you're someone who has acne prone skin that's a big concern and that is resolved with this product So all in all uh, you get a great quantity for the price that you're paying and it lasts you a long time and uh, I've never used it on my body as such but uh, yeah it's just like other scrubs I think oh I have uh, yeah sorry I have used it on my body but not like for any specific purpose just just like that so I don't know if it's useful for you know treating things on the body or not so yeah